This is the fastest way to solve minimum cut questions. Most students will waste too much time. What a lot of students do is they do the trial and error method where they go through each possible cut and then calculate them, add them up, and they try and find the lowest one. That's just not the case. Firstly, it wastes so much time going through each individual path especially if you've got a massive flow diagram. Two, it's really messy, so it's gonna confuse you. And three, what if you miss one? And that's the minimum cut, you're just screwed. Here's the faster way. You first find the max flow. Max flow, if we're scanning this network here or this pathway, the lowest number that can flow through this pathway is two. So we're gonna put a max of two through this whole top line. And we'll circle this because it's full. And we'll do the same for the rest. How much can fit through this pathway here, a max of two, because we're capped at our lowest number. Circle this because it's full, and we're just gonna put these at the end. So this one and this one. Our last one, how much can we fit through here? We're capped at three, so we're gonna put three in here. It's full, three. So our max flow is equal to, what, four, seven. And then you see the ones that are full here. All we have to do is just draw a line through them. So that. And that's our minimum cut, right? And you can check it because minimum cut equals max flow. So two plus two plus three is equal to our max flow. So have a go at drawing the minimum cut with this problem using this same method and tag a friend who needs to save time in their exams.